Good morning, La Casa family. It's so great to be with you here from Visalia, California, 63 degrees, a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm sure it's a beautiful Sunday morning there in Scottsdale and Phoenix, too. We're so blessed to be here for our 2023 summer trip with our high school students. And I have a special guest with us this morning. Pastor, come on in here. This is Pastor Scott. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Casa de Cristo in Scottsdale. Pastor Scott is the pastor here at the church. I want to ask you about your role here at the church. You're an interim pastor here at the church. Tell us about what that means and what your what your uh, job is. So I'm the interim pastor. They, uh, pastor Brian Mallison was here for 36 years and just retired. And so I'm here to help them to transition between their settled pastor and their next pastor. And I'm just to, uh, here to keep things running and keep the focus on the mission of the church. Sounds great. And and specifically, what is the difference between an, an interim responsibility versus a, a pastor that's going to be there for a long time? Um, I don't have to make sure they like me. Uh, <laughs> so my role is simply to, to help the congregation move forward in the best way possible. And, I'm, and my uh, vision is short term, uh, hitting on the things that matter right here and now. Very good. And tell us about the congregation here, Christ Lutheran Church. Christ Lutheran Visalia is a 60-year-old congregation, a vibrant community with uh, multiple special projects, including a, a preschool. They have a, a fabulous after-school performing arts program for elementary school kids. They just did Beauty and the Beast Jr., uh, two shows, and that's a free program. So just a number of things of how they connect with the community. We are so grateful to be here. We appreciate your hospitality, opening your doors for us. Uh, we're just, we feel very blessed. So thank you very much. Thank you. It's great to have you here. And I'm going to invite one of our, our students in. Tanner, come on in here. Good morning, Tanner. Good, morning. Good to see you. One of our students, a senior on the yeah. trip with us. Tell us about how you came, ended up coming on the trip with us. Um, well, two of my friends told me to come. Even though it was past deadline, my uh, mom asked Susan if they had any more spots. And Susan had one more spot for me, so it worked out great. We're so glad you're here, Tanner. What school do you go to? I go to Pinnacle High School in Phoenix. Pinnacle High School, this is your last year. What are your plans for the future? Um, I'm hoping to join my sister at Ole Miss after I graduate, so... We, we wish you all, all the best with that. And Tanner, um, I know we don't know much about what's going to happen on summer trip this week, but just in general, what are you excited for? What are you looking forward to? Well, I think the rafting will be really fun. I also am excited to help build the houses. So. Rafting and building houses sounds good, man. High five. Thanks for being here, Tanner. God bless you. I'm going to invite two more leaders in here. Miss Jennifer and Mr. Connor here. Come on in, both of you. Both of you are serving as, as leaders on the trip. What does it mean to be a, a leader on this trip? What are you doing with these students? It's so awesome. I mean, being on the other side of the high school summer trip experience that I'm used to growing up at the church in high school, um, I now see that so much of the success of, and what makes it so fun is how hard everybody's working behind the scenes. Um, our leaders, our volunteers, our kitchen staff, um, all of it goes into making it the best experience for the kids uh, as, as possible. So it's really gratifying for me to have that full circle experience. Well, for me, the summer trip experience is really interesting. I have nothing to do with the music. So I just have a small group with another leader, and it's really wonderful to connect these children with Christ and the full experience of whatever it is, with building houses or uh, rafting or having fun, really kind of maybe scary experiences. And, and some of the kids don't know each other, so they're, they all bond together. And at the end of the week, I think we're all crying <laughs> <laughs> for grad night or whatever. It's, it's, just a, it's just a really wonderful experience. Thank you both for, for your service this week. Thank you to everyone here at uh, Christ Lutheran Church. We're so blessed to be here. It's wonderful when churches open their doors and, and allow groups like us to come in so we can serve this week. It's a wonderful community here. We hope to be able to share an update with you soon about what's going on here. You can always check our website, lacasadecristo.com slash youth for more information. Daily videos from our youth that are here. You can hear from them. So, uh, Jump in, participate online, and we look forward to seeing you there. God bless you all. This has been The Interlude.